G'day folks. Well, it's time for an equipment autopsy tonight. And I have something which has been cluttering up my carport for a while. And it's finally time to get rid of it. It is a Vane VM100 air conditioning charging station. It's for automotive use. Um, it's well out of date and just too old to be used. It's too bulky. And yeah, plenty of reasons not to use this thing. And it's, it's designed for R12, so I rarely get my hands on more than a few hundred grams of R12. And yeah, unless you've got a dedicated shop set up, it's pretty much useless. So it's got the bottle holder and scale in the bottom of it. That's the weight scale meter. It has yeah, its vacuum and pressure meter low side, pressure meter high side. That's all there. So yeah, it's a bit rough, but it will uh, work quite well. I hope well, should be interesting autopsy anyway. Hopefully these work though. There's attachment points in there for the uh, gauge set, <coughs> all that sort of good stuff. So I think I better turn it around and we'll get into the back of it. Okay, so there's the vacuum pump kind of looks like a fridge compressor and that would be correct because it's based on a fridge compressor made by Kirby Refrigeration it is a uh, yeah, neat little unit you can buy air compressors based on the same type of configuration the top and bottom shells were never welded and they were made in such a way well really it wasn't much difference but apart from the inlet and outlet fittings and you can use them as a silent air compressor so that's definitely a keeper as long as it isn't burnt out or damaged there's an oil trapper thing that's a discharge line which goes out the bottom for the exhaust intake which is nicely kinked and cracked so vacuum would not have been working to begin with hmm random dome nut floating around in there lots of nice fittings inside <coughs> yeah charging hose going down to the scale where the bottle would normally sit it's all nicely cracked and dead definitely not using you again and maybe for a vacuum gauge or something that's about it which is a perished vacuum or oh, charging hoses are only like fifty dollars a set so that's not a big deal now that's all the scales. Yeah, I should just plug this thing in and see what it does. <laughs> we'll see if we can trip some circuit breakers. There's a control board of some sort there, and a main terminal strip. Okay, let's see what it does. Hmm. Well, it is grounded, so it's safe to touch. Most of that noise is just crap rattling around in there. Yeah, sticky. Vacuum side, not really doing anything. Nothing. I'm not getting vacuum. But then that is sort of split and dead, so wouldn't expect to get vacuum out of that. The scale is not doing anything, it's over the clock. putting weight on that scale and it ain't moving. No, the scale's dead. Okay, I'm not going to be salvaging the scale then. Looks like the coil's blown up anyway. That's alright, I'll just rip the compressor and the gauges and things out and that'll be the end of it. Neat. 
and there's manufacturing details Beverly Hills New South Wales I didn't even know we had a Beverly Hills in Australia I guess you learn something every day hmm I just realized something the reason I'm not getting vacuum is because nothing's connected to it the vacuums down here so I think something's missing the table tie stand off with nothing attached to it that's suction into the compressor I'm guessing they haven't been using the vacuum pump for a long time that's discharge the small line big line is usually suction um, yeah I'm guessing they just use it as charging and they had a separate vacuum pump so it's been butchered and I'm guessing maybe there is a problem with the compressor don't know I'll uh, remove it from its enclosure check the oil levels and things probably open it up and uh, yeah I'll go from there but for now I'm just gonna cut some of these flexible lines and go from there funny thing is that oil line coming off the compressor goes into the main manifold too that's interesting why would they do that unless that's a suction side it shouldn't be though, it still goes out to the bottom of the casing hmm why you gotta be so complicated doesn't matter I'm gonna rip it to bits anyway, it doesn't have to be that complicated because I can simplify it okay it looks like this thing set up the opposite way of a normal fridge compressor I'd be guessing this is the suction side hence the oil return line and the um, connection to the front panel and the casing itself is the low pressure suction side or sorry the high pressure discharge side not like a normal hermetic compressor not a fridge compressor anyway where the inside of the casing is the um, suction side and that line there would be the discharge side but in this case it's a flexible rubber line and it's going to here and that looks like the suction side of the head inside these chambers which are normally sealed would be the uh, discharge side but in this case it's not that way so it's just discharging oil and stuff back into the crankcase hence why these things don't put oil out through the discharge line I think the reason there's oil in there is because this unit's been upside down in pretty much every way it shouldn't be but it's all there connecting rod looks alright yeah I think the main reason I wasn't getting vacuum was because it wasn't connected or at least not properly anyway and that line isn't cracked it's old but it's not cracked I'm not going to provoke it too much but damn this thing smells bad it's done a lot of hours work the heads cast alloy instead of iron and finned for cooling yeah it'll work but it'll be nasty though motor windings still look fresh though they're not burnt or brown oh well, that's the end of that one for now I guess I should run the compressor though just can't be bothered tonight I'll do it another night oh well, thanks for watching